welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today I will be doing a smoky eye look because I do I love good smoky eye every now and then and I will be using the Mark Aldi but the Goldie the Morphe 35 O palette because it's the perfect palette for creating smoky eye looks as you can tell all these shades here are perfect for smoky eye looks and I've not actually had the makeup on my face for a good few days mainly because the weather is so hot um, and it's too hot to wear makeup but you know it's absolutely scorching hot outside and I was just feeding the you know, points of makeup on my face so I thought I would make a video out of it because why not I've also had my hair cut as well by the way guys so like I've had quite a bit cut off it and it feels so much better to just have it chopped off because my hair was so long I hadn't had my hair cut in around 12 weeks which is insane so I'm really happy to have my hair cut as well but before we get into the video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it would be nice to get to the like goal of 30 likes on this video also make sure to leave a comment and subscribe but without further ado let's go on the video I'm probably just gonna go step by step with my makeup but firstly I need to be doing my eyebrows because I like my eyebrows but it can be a bit non-existent as well sometimes so I will be using the Morphe a Morphe eyebrow pomade in Latte. I like using eyebrow pomade because I feel as if it makes my eyebrows look a bit thicker without making them blocky or anything. Um, and like, this adds a bit of colour to them as well. And I am obsessed with Morphe eyebrow products. So yeah, I'm just going to be using this. I'm also using the Peaches and Cream eyebrow brush in PC. It's 09 because I love my Peaches brushes. I'm just going to line underneath. As you guys can see, and kind of make a bit more of a point. It's kind of sharp my eyebrows a bit, like so. And I'm just gonna do the top bit, and I'll, I'll just fill it in pretty much until it's all nicely even and stuff. And that's basically how I do my eyebrows. Pretty easy and simple. I don't I spend too long on my eyebrows because the longer I spend on them, the more likely I'm gonna mess them up kind of thing so if I just kind of do it easy and simple and don't add too much product to them it'll be okay. Eyebrows are now done. They're on fleek. Remember, do you remember when everybody used to say eyebrows on fleek and stuff back in like 2016 or, or 17 or whatever. Well anyway my eyebrows are done. For my eye base I now actually use the P. Louise base in the room is 0 0.5 because I do have two of these bases in a 0 and a 0 0.5 and this is my skin colour and I'm just going to use this for like my eyeshadow base to basically like a prep for my eyeshadow if that makes any sense so I'm just going to squeeze a bit on my pe on my peaches and cream brush in PC40 honestly I am actually terrible at filming kind of makeup videos so I apologise it will get better but you know You've got to just keep going with them and I'm just going to line underneath my eyebrows and then also drag it down to like my eyelids so that I've got a nice even base for my shadow. I might have to use another eye bridge to kind of like um, to blend this base because you, you need to use like a fluffy brush to kind of make it even so I will have to get another brush but I'm just doing this so far. I'm just going to kind of pat it on if I can for now and then I'll have to get like a fluffy brush but I've left it over in my pot so I have to find it again. Oh, I always forget there's something, honestly. I thought I had everything and then as soon as I put my base and I've realised I need my other brush which is over there. So the joys of being a YouTuber and forgetting stuff. I have found a random eyeshadow brush. It's like a fluffy one but it's really good. So what I'm going to do is kind of pat it and make it even so that it creates a nice little base. I may have a bit of eyebrow in my eyelid, which I do, lovely. All my eyebrow hairs are coming out. <laughs> Love that for me. Anyway. Oh my god, why are they all coming out? I swear, as soon as I film a makeup tutorial, things, things just go wrong when I film one. Right, anyway. We're moving on to our store now, guys. I will be using the Morphe 35 All Palette this is the first ever Morphe palette and the packaging is old but it's so good for smoky eye looks so the shade well 
Now the colour I it will probably start off with first is this one at the bottom. It is the fifth one along, as you guys can see. I don't know what it's called, but it's fine. And I'm just going to be using a Spectrum A12 brush. I'm really sorry if you can hear like the noises outside. It's just because I've got a window open because it's really noisy. Anyway, I'm just going to be using a bit of this colour. And I'm just going to pat it on. And when you pat on um, eyeshadows, the pigment builds up and it's actually better for you, like, you creating nicer eye looks and more colour. Just going to keep on patting along. Like, it basically, you know, the crease of my eye, like my eyelid kind of thing. If if that makes any sense, I don't know if it does, but yeah. It makes sense in my head kind of thing. Just, cap, just kind of pat it until you've got a nice, a good block of colour. It looks like I've got a black eye. <laughs> you've got to be careful if you're doing smoky eye looks, but sometimes you can make yourself it look like you've had a like it look like you've got a black eye and it isn't always a good look so just be very careful. I've had many field attempts at doing the smoky eye looks but once you get the hang of it you just become a pro so you just gotta be careful and just you don't add too much colour to your eye because the more colour you add the worse it could get and then I'm just gonna be using the Spectrum B09 brush. I find it's really good for blending out eyeshadows, so I'm just going to use a lighter shade for now. It's just this one here. It's third down, the two across. So I'm just going to use this. And it's just nice for blending the colours a bit. I'm just going to blend. Lovely. And what a gorgeous blend. And I'm actually use in my, um, what's this called? The Real Techniques brush. I think it's called essential crease brush, I'm not quite sure because oh yeah, essential crease brush, I'm just going to use the same colour as I showed before because it's better for like a precise blending, lovely like that and then now I'm just going to be using P. Louise base in Room Zero, it's like, it's like a blank canvas kind of colour so it's perfect for cutting the crease and I love it I'm just going to be using the brush I used before for doing my eye base I'm just going to get a bit and what I do is, I have to be very careful with this, I'm just going to get the base on my lid and I'm just going to kind of cut the crease pretty much. So, I'm going to do it like this. And then, I'm going to put like a white eyeshadow over and then yeah, that's the look pretty much. It's pretty simple, you want to know how to blend and cut the crease and stuff, but I think cutting the crease can be the hardest part because sometimes you can mess it up and that's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, but what other makeup looks would you like to see from me? Because I'm happy to film more makeup looks. I just need the time to do them. I'm going out today and I do have like a busy schedule at the moment. So, and I'm also going away as well. So, I will have to like put some time aside me to get some videos uploaded, like makeup ones. Right, so I've cut the crease kind of. You don't have to be perfect, but as long as you've kind of split the colour a bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a bit of like a dark colour this was used at the start I'm just going to kind of put it on the end there just to you know add the colours to see where it stops at and then I'm just going to get what brush shall I use for this I'm going to have to get another brush I'm so unorganised today I'm just going to use like a round brush but I'm going to have to use a different one for now I'm just going to use the whitey creamy colour and kind of pat it down um, and then that is that pretty much just kind of make sure it's all nice and matte like that so pretty simple pretty easy but yeah it's like that for now I like to add a bit more colour just kind of blend it a bit right eyes I've fully done on both sides I've put the eyeliner on as well because yeah, it would have been too stressful to do it on camera. But anyway, it's all type of primer. I will be using the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm because it's really good for primer actually. And it actually makes your makeup stay on all day. Like, I have used a lot of high-end primers. I've used a lot of drugstore ones. But nothing compares to this. I don't know what is in it to make it to make your makeup stick. But it's actually a 10 out of 10. I love it so much. So... I'm just gonna rub this into my skin and make it smell nice and like 
It does smell a bit after shavy, but it's really nice. I love it. And it's good for sensitive skin as well. So I'd recommend if you do have a sensitive skin and you do react to some makeup products, maybe it, it may be the thing that you need. But anyway, I've got it on my skin. Now it's time for foundation. I will be using Too Faced Born This Way foundation just because it's my go to foundation. It's in my shade and also it's like a lighter foundation compared to the Maybellines I often use um, and it is very warm outside so that is why I'm going to use that one today and then I'm going to use my beauty blender as well and what I do on myself, I don't do this on clients, I just pump it on my face because it's just it's so much easier you get more of a higher coverage, I'm just going to pump it all over my face on my forehead this foundation is, is quite runny as well so I've got to be I've got to be pretty quick when I want to um, blend it. But yeah, but that's how much foundation I need. Then I'm just going to dump my beauty blender. I've just, I've just filled this up with water, and it's actually such a good idea because then, it, like, you just spray it onto the sponge instead of having to go to the bathroom and uh, wet it and stuff. But I'm just gonna uh, beat my face up until it's all blended up. All, all blended in, I mean. Then this foundation is good for any skin type if you do have dry the combination or oily because the coverage is like in the middle type of thing um, and yeah it's super lightweight as well which is good you know it feels heavy on your skin so it's gonna keep blending foundation is all blended and I've kind of realized how I have a really heavy upper lip because I've not waxed it in around two weeks so it's it, it's kind of showing a bit I'm kind of trying to blend it down on my upper lip a bit, but oh my god, it's really visible. I need to get that waxed, like, when I get back. But, you know, it's, I'm going out the house as well. I'm just going to have this hairy upper lip, but it's fine. Anyway, I'm now going to be doing cream contour. I just use this my old five points. I got this in, in my college makeup kit a couple of years ago, and I love it because it's really good. I'm just going to be using the peaches and cream. A PC18 brush and I'm just going to put this where my cheekbones are and then on my forehead as well. It is really easy to blend out. And it warms up your face a lot as well which is good. And then on the other side it only takes a couple of minutes. It transforms your face and it also makes it easy to do like a bit of powder bronzer on top of your cheekbones. It also adds a lot of warmth and colour as well, which is what you need, especially when you're pale like me, trust me girls, or boys. I have not done a smoky eye on my eyes in months, so this feels really weird to have a bit of like a darker colour on my eyes, because I've just been boring, just been sticking to my old kind of like the browns and stuff and gold, but it's like to switch it up every now and then, you know. Right, there we go. I think cream contour's all done. I think. I might just have to add a bit more colour. I'm going to put my concealer on my under eyes. It's the Revolution Concealer and Antihydrate one in C2. On my under eyes. On my nose and on my chin. I'm just going to use the same beauty blender. I do need to get it cleaned, but like, who's got the effort to be cleaning your makeup sponges? Like, it takes forever. Just gonna make sure I don't have any creases and that my under eyes are looking brighter than my future because that's what they usually look like. I'm going out soon, I wonder what the time is. I'm going out quarter past two. It's nearly two o'clock, I better hurry up. I better get a move on because I've got to take photos and stuff as well, I haven't even took a thumbnail yet. Oh, the joys. The behind the scenes of, of, of filming YouTube videos it can be quite stressful, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I've been having a look at suitcases online because I actually spotted a really nice one on TK Maxx in store and because my 20th birthday is coming up, it's not until October but you've got to plan what you want to ask for for your birthday just in case, I can't get it in time, you know, a few months in advance. Um, so I went to TK Maxx and just had a look at suitcases um, and I found this really nice guest one so I'm, I'm kind of hoping I get a nice suitcase for my birthday, hence why I was looking online for suitcases and I actually spotted a Victoria's Secret one, um, a pink stripey one, 
but like it's got black on it and it would be nicer if it had a white kind of piping around it in, instead of black if you know what I mean so yeah but I'm just going to keep on having a look but you leave me some recommendations of where it sells really nice like suitcases and stuff because I want to get a nice expensive kind of looking one you know I wish I could get a Louis Vuitton one but obviously you know it's probably like £800 that's a lot of money for a suitcase probably even more to be honest I'm not gonna lie I could have a look on DHgate but then I just can't be bothered to like order a suitcase and for it to take like years to arrive that's what happens when you order on DHgate and Volvo and stuff it takes ages for stuff to arrive but we'll wait and see and now that my face is pretty much powdered and stuff I am just going to go over with my bronzer which is the Revolution bronzer is it? A Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in the shade Bahia. I love this bronzer so much because it's perfect for pale skin girls. I've also tied my hair up because it keeps my hair up my, out my face. I'm just going to put this like on my cheekbones and forehead and then a bit of my nose. And this just adds a bit extra colour to you. You know, you need to get in that tanned kind of look. And when the sun's out, get your bronzer out. <laughs> yeah, that rhymes that. And when the sun's out. Get your bronzer out. <laughs> Weird, aren't I? And then I'm just going to quickly go off with my Peach and Cream PC03 brush and to kind of add a bit on my nose, just to warm my nose up a bit. Because, yeah, adding a bit of colour in there does not harm to anybody. Time for setting spray. I'm going to be using my Candy Cosmetics one. Oh, look, it's stuck at the bottom. That's why I'm shaking it as hard as I can. I don't want to get any on my nice chair because it was quite expensive, this chair. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my face like this way. Oh, God. That's better. That's a lot better. I feel glowed up now. And then I'm going to use some peach and cream brush. Honestly, peach and cream brushes are so amazing. I love them. Um, it's just the PC28 brush. The Doll Beauty highlighter because it's my favourite highlighter in the world. Just gonna, you know, make my face go from a 1 to a, a 100. I was trying to think of what glosses I could use because I think I'm gonna go for like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do about glosses, but just for like my under my eyes, I'm just gonna use the excess eyeshadow off the brush and just go under just so like it just adds a bit more colour and stuff and smokes it out. I'm gonna grab in my lip glosses and maybe try to attempt something but I don't know if it's going to work so just let me know actually I might actually do my lashes while I'm here yeah the tight lashes honestly I'm so disorientated today the tight lashes in TL4 are my favourite if anybody ever wants to send me like a birthday present in October or something send me tight lashes TL4 because they are my favourite they will forever be my fave they're so wispy but they make your eyes look so pretty if you have the greyy greeny eyes they like myself. They try these out because it'll it'll really bring out your eye colour. Now I'm just gonna put this all over the lash band. I use the Jewel the lash glue, a quick set. The one, but the only thing is, you often like when you take your eyelashes off, you often find a lot of dried eyelash glue in your natural lashes. But it's fine. I feel very dolled up. Oh my god, I have not had makeup on in years. I'm just going to wait for these to kind of set over a bit. I'm liking my eyebrows as well. Like, I remember back in school, probably year 8, year 9 time, my eyebrows were horrendous. I think I might have cut them and they looked horrid. They were actually, yeah, I don't even want to go there. But yeah, I'm just going to put my lashes on. My eyelashes are looking, well my eyes are, are popping now. Ever since I've had a bit of a... I, I glow up. Also, I'm going out on Tuesday. Well, I'm not I like going out, out. I'm going a day drinking with my friends and I actually need uh, an outfit because I don't know what to wear because the forecast, it keeps on changing. Like, it says it's going to be raining and then sunny and then really hot and then not as hot. And yeah, the forecast, it's just changing for Tuesday. But I don't know what to wear. I like to wear like a bodysuit and shorts or to wear like like I don't know like a crop top or what yeah, give me some outfit ideas because you'll be very much appreciated my eyelashes are on now honestly false eyelashes they just complete the whole makeup look but anyway now it, it's time for lips I'm going to be using my Morphe lip liner in the shade Crush because I have a crush on Scott <laughs> and 
I'm just going to line my lips. I like to overline the top, the lip, only a tiny bit. Um, but just to make it look a bit fuller, because my bottom lip is naturally fuller and bigger compared to my top lip, so I like to kind of even it out a bit. This colour is gorgeous. It suits my, it just suits my lips so well. And it, it goes nicely with every makeup look. Now, I'm going to like attempt to do a bit of like a fade on my lips, but I don't know if these two colours are going to work. So I've got two peach and cream glosses here, the one in rusted and the one in honey. I use this all the time on my lips, I love it so much. I rarely ever use this one, but I'm going to try it today because I'm going to have like a darker colour on the outside and kind of fade it into this and have this like in the middle. I'm hoping it works. If not, it isn't the end of the world. Like you've got to practice to make things perfect. I'm just gonna do this. I think it could work. I think can you okay and then if I add a bit of like a lighter colour I'm hoping this works they wish me well so I'm gonna go in funny now and use the other side of the brush. If this works, I'm actually going to be using this as like my new kind of lip combo, like, imagine. I do need this shade again, because it, it's running out. Let's have a look and see. Alright, okay, that's kind of working. I'll start to lend it in a bit. Wow, I like that. Wow, that's actually really nice. Hmm, okay. Wow. <sighs> Can you guys see that? Yeah, well, here is the end of the smoky eye look. I think it went uh, pretty well. I probably could have done a bit better, but because um, I'm filming a video and talking at the same time, I was kind of like a bit distracted. But overall, I would rate this the makeup look probably like a, a, nine, a 9 out of 10. It is one of my favourite makeup looks, and I would do this again. But this kind of lip combo I've just tried out, I'm kind of obsessed with. So definitely try it out. If you have these pretty cream glosses because the pigmentation is amazing. They also smell good and they're really pig like they're really pigmented and just they just sit perfectly on your lips. But if you guys who would like to see any more makeup tutorials from me, make sure to leave a thumbs up, also leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!